Hello again, everybody. It's Scott Hudgens here with Dodd RV, located in Yorktown, Virginia. Family owned and operated since 1956. Today, we're looking at a brand new, just arrived, 2024 Rockwood Mini Light 2509S. Murphy bed that you can see behind me here, single slide out, bunks in the back, outside kitchen, solar, electric jacks, lots of features and some new options we'll take a look at as well. Uh, let's get started, take a look. Hey guys, remember watch all the way to the end of the video. I'll show you a clip with the slide in so you can see what you do and don't have access to in travel. Remember, give me a quick thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, hit that bell. That'll give you a notification every time I put a new camper on. So be the first one to see new floor plans, options, decors. Make sure you hit that bell. Also check down in the description. I have all your specs, holding tank sizes and measurements. And remember, if you're coming out to the lot to see this or any other camper in person, make sure you ask for Scott. All right, standing at the entry door looking in, see your slide out. We're looking at the Newport Ash cabinetry, chocolate decor. So they're lighter wood, they're darker fabric. As you can see, we got the Murphy bed up front. Uh, that's where we'll start. Very easy setup and breakdown of that. They even give you the operation instructions right up here on the board. Um, but what you're looking at is a jackknife sofa, both footrests kick out if you want to relax. Charging areas on both sides. You've got cup holders in the middle for the jackknife sofa. It's as easy as that to drop it down. Now you're ready to drop the bed down. You've got a lock on either side. You've also got lights on either side. I'll make it a little easier to see for you. Dropping the bed down, just watch your fingers from pinching. Again, I'm holding the phone and did it with one hand, so it's not that difficult. You do have a locking handle here. So if you were to be sitting at the head of the bed, the bed's not gonna tip on you. Also, the straps are nice because it holds this comforter in place, holds your sheets, holds your pillows in one location. You've got that windshield up front. There is a blackout shade that comes down. You've got receptacle. You've got charging areas on both sides of the bed. You have the shocks that assist for lifting the bed back up, which we'll look at in a second. Hanging storage, drawers, you got a max air fan right over top of the bed. Two AC ducts, you do have a curtain. Even with the bed down, you can close off the bedroom. You can still get in and out, no problem. Now, being that you can move around with the bed down, but you cannot bring the slide in. So the bed needs to be up which you would pull the lever. Raise the bed. As you can see, you got sofa storage underneath the sofa. And now you can bring the slide back in. Your windows on either side open so you get good cross breeze. And there are those blackout shades. Still close to the bedroom, you've got either hanging storage by taking out the shelves or leave the shelves in, you got a nice pantry. Your WeRV control panel, control your slide, your awning, check your holding tanks. You've got lights, drawers, heat duct, your solar controller is here, more receptacles, pop-up charging areas. Linoleum throughout, so easy to keep clean. You do have a countertop extension. The TV is on a swing arm, so it does swing around so you can see it from the bedroom. One nice feature here is it gives you easy access to the hookups, but the new smart TV by Connex has got the JBL soundbar built in. You can sync your phone to it. It's 32 inch, it's also 12 volt, so it'd run off the battery 
um, if you were dry camping somewhere. The dinette, it is in the down position now. Good way for it to travel. You heard the Velcro, that's how the cushions stay in place. Removing the two cushions in the back. And if you need more length, you can take these out as well. So you got easy setup to make it into a bed. Got lights. You've got drawers that pull out and access from the outside that we'll take a look at when we go around. Now, setting it back up, utilize that Velcro. You're all done. Now, there is a locking pin on the front. We'll take a look at the dinette set up into a table. All right, here's the table in the up position. With no pedestals, you can move that table all the way out if you like. You've got these ledges that the table sits on that's got Velcro. You can take the table and use it as a coffee table, take it outside, leave it at home. You got plenty of options there. If you need more pantry space, you got it here. Receptacles, your thermostat for that uh, ducted AC. Staying in the kitchen, you've got two sink covers here, both that roll up, but large stainless steel sink. You've got a flush mount cover that's got LED lights, and that cover acts as a splash guard when you're using that three burner range. Drawers throughout, new hardware on the drawers. Your exhaust does exhaust outside. You got lights, microwaves at a good height. A uh, new reflective front refrigerator. It is 12 volt. A uh, couple new features here. Rockwood is gone and organized all of their paperwork. So nice organization there. And one other goodie we like to talk about is the tire monitoring system, the TST. We'll give you an idea of the temperature, the pressure, nice safety feature that Rockwood includes. Your bunk area. You see you got individual curtains for each bunk. The bottom bunk, it's a little easier to look from the outside, but it does fold up out of the way. So you got plenty of storage there, a little nut down low. You've got a ladder for the top bunk. You've got individual lights. The AC duct is in the bunk area, so they're not gonna pass out out here if they got the curtain closed. You've got another light and a charging area down here as well. Windows do open. And finally, the bathroom. Nice room around the toilet. Your tub surrounds, you got a skylight. Standard curtain, I'm six foot five. My head just about touches in the skylight. So you got another inch there. If you're six six, you're good. Got the shower miser on the shower. I extended the countertop space a little bit. Nice spot for a trash can, medicine cabinet. You do have a window that you can close off and a max air fan with a cover on the roof. Heat duct down low in the bathroom, AC duct in the ceiling. You do not see that in all models. Your brand new 2024 Forest River Rockwood Mini Light 2509S. We'll work our way outside. Take a look out there. All right, moving to the outside, your automotive windshield, docking LED light, power tongue jack, your seven pin and chain holder, two 30 pound LP bottles, spot for two batteries, it will come with one. Nice rock guard, controls for those docking lights. 2509's got a dry weight of 5,534 pounds. Got kind of a modified pass through storage here. Power cord, prep table. You got new look slam latch compartment doors with the magnets, frameless windows. We did equip uh, this Rockwood with slide topper, storage in the slide. We got the slide in, just a little easier to show it to you here. You got your storage under the dinette. 
Goodyear Endurance tires, 14 inch. Looking at a 30 amp service. Your water hookup, cable, black tank flush, black and gray pull valves. Spare tire mounted on the bumper. You got your rear storage area. This table folds up out of the way or the base of the bed anyways. Factory installed ladder. Take a look at the roof. Solar panel, TV antenna, two max air fan covers, your skylight, your AC, nice clean roof. Prep for backup camera. You got a receiver on the back for 300 pound hitch rating, not for towing. Uh, you got an outside kitchen, which is a two burner range. Your outside refrigerator. You also have a outside shower, hot and cold. Full length power awning with LED lights. Your outside speakers and exhaust for your range. Outside TV hookup, controls for your stabilizer jacks, and there's your LP Quick Connect. Your prep table and the griddle hook here. Backside of your furnace and your hot water heater. Large assist handle. Your step above entry steps with those easy adjust legs. Your entry door is on a friction hinge so it stays where you leave it. And you've got the screenshot screen door that closes that for you other side of your pass through storage and then the controls here for your front stabilizer jacks you are prepped for a portable solar panel that's just going to trickle charge those batteries up front your brand new 2024 rockwood mini light 2509s Remember, if you're coming out to the lot to see this or any other camper in person, make sure you ask for Scott. All right, as promised with the slide in, you can still get over. One nice way is you can remove that table uh, altogether, but you can get through to the bathroom, to the refrigerator, but if you know you're gonna be coming in, you can leave the table maybe on the bunk bed out of the way and you can just walk on through.